A combined team made up of Ohio Army and Air National Guard respond to a simulated disaster at Owens Community College. What's going on is we're in, the Toledo, we're in Toledo, Ohio, and a 7.5 earthquake occurred, and uh, it, it was very catastrophic, a lot of injuries. Uh, there's a, a lot of chemicals in this area, in this industrial area of Toledo, and the Ohio Surf P was called out to uh, help rescue people that are, that are trapped in some of the rubble piles and to uh, do some medical support and some decontamination operations for some contaminated uh, personnel. There are several different units across the state that provide equipment and personnel for natural and terrorist related disasters. Once these teams are activated, they fall under one command and control group called Joint Task Force 73. General Waite, the Adjutant General of Ohio, uh, he had the vision of having a headquarters in Ohio that could command and control the National Guard response units to a natural disaster or a weapons of mass destruction event. This training exercise involves more than 300 Guard members and includes local first responders and role players to make the training as realistic as possible. They did a real good job with uh, the casualties. Um, we had a lot of uh, curveballs thrown our way, um, things to expect in the world, real world um, that we haven't had before. This joint team can respond to any state or federal emergency. Once they arrive, they work with local emergency crews to pull trapped victims from collapsed buildings, decontaminate them if there is any type of chemical threat, and give on-site medical treatment. This training exercise gives the command staff the confidence they can complete their missions. When called, we will be ready and, and we will deploy on time and we will accomplish our mission and we will save lives. We are ready. For the Ohio National Guard, I'm Army Sergeant Steve Engel.